done some stupid things, but crashing the internet has to be the dumbest yet. Look at the chaos you've caused. I have no idea how to drive without texting. Why can't I post this video? Hello. What did you say? Why aren't you looking at your phone, you psycho? Why is no one liking my posts? Well, I hate all your posts. Hello. Hello. Peter, Lois is right. This mess is all your fault. Settle down, Brian. I'm sure life will be just fine without the internet. Maybe we can even go see that Amish comedian. Sir, where are you from? Chicago. I have never been to Chicago. How about you, sir? Boston. I have never been to Boston. Anyone here? The thing about information is, it's great. You know, you can get more and more of it. But what's funny about the internet and the rise and succeeding dominance recently of social media is that the internet isn't just littered with information. It's also littered with the not so useful, not so helpful and often incorrect opinion. Ordinary voices of ordinary people and the strong voices of people with stronger social media presences that allow them to invade our lives, has allowed them to dominate our thoughts. And not everything that's being said is actually useful. And you're either aware of that or it takes over your life.